All right, this video will cover the quotient rule, another basic rule when it comes to taking derivatives. And the quotient rule is definitely a little more complicated than the product rule. And the idea is basically this. It says, so you're trying to take the derivative, and basically it says you have a fraction. You got something on top, something on the bottom. So you have a quotient. So the quotient rule says you basically take whatever's in the denominator and multiply that by the derivative of what's in the numerator, put a minus sign in between, then you leave the numerator alone and multiply that by the derivative of the denominator. And this all goes over the denominator squared. Unlike the product rule that had a plus in it, since there's a minus here, you're gonna have to be you know, exact about the order. If you get these flip-flopped, you're gonna be off by a sign, and you definitely don't want that. So, to illustrate this, we'll start with this first problem on the left. So, the derivative here, my pen will work for me. Okay, so it says, It says you leave the bottom thing alone. So 4x plus 3, we'll leave that alone. It says you then multiply that by the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of x squared is simply 2x. The derivative of 5x will be 5. Better give ourselves some more room here. Quotient rule problems are always so long. I'll put my minus sign in between. Then it says we leave the numerator alone. So x squared plus 5x. I'll just copy that right back down. And then we take the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of 4x is simply 4. And the derivative of the positive 3 is 0. So that'll just disappear. And lastly, it says all we have to do is take the denominator, 4x plus 3, and square it. And there's our derivative. So obviously you could do some algebraic simplification to this problem now. You could, for example, distribute out this term, distribute out this term, collect like terms, and just try to grind some of this down. Um, usually in a lot of classes though, they'll just have you take the derivative and stop there but there's definitely going to be some cases where you will want to simplify this down but for now we'll just leave it at that and and be satisfied so our other example here g of t equals sine of t over t cubed plus one well just like the other one here we'll take the derivative so g prime of t it says we take the bottom, leave that alone, so t cubed plus 1. Multiply that by the derivative of the numerator, which is going to be cosine of t. And then put our minus sign in between. We'll leave the numerator alone. Multiply that by the derivative of the denominator, which will be 3t squared. If I can squeeze that in there. And then again, we just take the bottom thing, t cubed plus 1, and square that. So just like before, if you wanted to simplify this part down, you could distribute out the cosine of t to the t cubed term, the cosine of t to the plus 1 term. You could distribute the 3t squared over here and you could square the bottom term, remembering just to foil this out. So here's a basic illustration of the quotient rule.